How is that any different from someone who spends four hours on TikTok? Because I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know that that was put to good use that time. I had the See, like, dopamine hit of I made it. So anyway, it was my fault that we were late, just, okay. just so you know. Yeah, well, you had to put your makeup on too. That didn't work. <laughs> he needs more. <laughs> okay, Jamie, introduce this. Right. Uh, Welcome sexy. back to Fresh and Zesty, guys, the number one music podcast in Australia. Back. We will give you the tricks and shiz to get you famous. Ah, gross. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please do it. Yep, uh, do we it. really appreciate the love that everybody's been giving us so far. So and, good. Uh, you know, keep engaging with us. 100%. And tell me, should I keep this moustache? Yes. No. <laughs> All right, so it's a 50 50 split. <laughs> it's a 50 50 split. Stacey, vote... what do you reckon? She, okay, no, she likes. Okay. Take it as a yes. <laughs> this, is, no, this is another example of wife logic. She, as you guys can tell right here, started shaving that part right there. Did it, like, do, I don't know what's going on. She prefers the half effed up side. Yeah, well, it's, it's cleaner. You didn't say that before. It is cleaner though. Look at it. It's way, I can All see right, it now. Fine. So you want me to actually shave the other side? Not right now. Okay, no, no. no. We, have, we do like to It's cleaner, it doesn't mean it looks better. We have a dude here that we haven't <laughs> even introduced yet. <laughs> yeah, guys. Well, look, if you probably read the uh, title, you'd know who this guy is. But Jamie, introduce this man. Um, how do I say your last name? Is it Boerson or Borson? Borson. Ah, yeah, you got it the second time. Yeah. No one gets it the first time. I thought nah. it was Boerson. Uh, well, welcome, Scott. Boerson. 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 Boston? No, Boston. 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 <laughs> Stop it. Boston. Like Couple of extra letters in just, it, maybe. All right. Well, how about fucking I don't we know, just, shut up? We traded some things. It's fun. <laughs> traded a vowel, got a consonant. That's good. Whatever. All right. All right. We need an English so, lesson. That's impressive, my man. Thank you. It's the only thing I know. Uh, so, Scott, how you doing, man? <laughs> good. Yourself? Yeah. Good, 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 good. What was that inflection? Good. It sounded like good. 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 Yeah. It's the, you know, fake. Yeah. Just fill in the blank. Yeah. Good, I'm yeah. good. I'm great. The higher you go, the more fake it is. So, oh God, yeah. so Scott oh so Scott Boston is uh, a famous TikToker. Uh, famous might not be the right Look, word. Fame, we've established <laughs> fame is like it's uh, fame is relative. Yeah, it's relative. I mean, I know who you are just because you're in my house. But other than that, other people know you. And uh, so we got him today because obviously TikTok is taking over the music scene. It makes people famous uh, for being average dancers but also average comedians but also great musicians obviously so there's a lot of trends happening around you can use your music so that maybe you could be the next uh old town road maybe like a one right foot left slide drake what's that song two z slide that one yeah um hurts me that you know so we just wanted to ask him some questions about how to make that shiz happen what obviously a lot of I mean, I, I've gotten people reaching out to me just going, hey, can can you use my song in a TikTok for you? Like, and I'm like, no, it's a bad song. But that, I had one yesterday. Well, hey, we don't have to talk about our discussion, okay? <laughs> no, not even that one. Like, I had someone reach out to me yesterday. <laughs> another <laughs> one. <laughs> another <laughs> one that another I rejected. One. So I rejected <laughs> you and someone else. Thanks, Dick. Uh, well... Yeah, so, I mean, obviously, there's the everything know, has right? a price. We've touched on this. Everything has a price. We want to make sure that you're not getting ripped off by someone who has a TikTok account who maybe think they have more clout than they really do. Mm. Uh, also, um, expectations of what you should be expected to pay. And also be smart with it. So, yeah, anyway, uh, run us through your TikTok history, Scott. How did you get TikTok famous? TikTok. And how many followers do you have? Uh, oh, this will date it very much so. Yeah. Uh, followers, uh, 100. So you're saying you're only going up from here? Uh, well, two days ago I went down, so that's all good. But that's how it goes. Hey, so yeah. You win some, you lose some. That's facts. Uh, about the 150 ish thousand mark. Man. Yeah, nice. Yeah, so not huge in the scheme of TikTok things, but. Yeah, TikTok uh, is some fucked up numbers, man. Definitely, definitely. You know, like mm. to have a million followers on TikTok's like, yeah, cool. The scale is incredible. Yeah. Like, mm. And. The spread on the scale as well is incredible. What do you mean spread? I like the spread of creators on the scale. Like who's at the lower end in terms of follow account and who's at the higher end. You see a mass range in the anywhere between like 400,000 and a couple of mil mark where there'll be thousands of us. Wow. 
and you won't even know them. But that's the thing. That's what I question the integrity of it because I know when I get a bunch of followers, I'll go to their account and I swear a shitload of them are just bots or something. Mm. You know, like that's that's how I feel about TikTok. Uh, I mean, it happens with Instagram as well. Like, you know, out of someone who has a million followers, shit. Even without them even buying them, because like I don't know, if, I don't think you can buy people on TikTok. Oh, I assume you can. No, but I assume it's you like can. every platform. Yeah, yeah, it would make but sense. It's just weird, like the amount of followers you get. You know, you have one thing go viral, and some of the some of the things look like bots. Mm. So, do you do you find any of that? I know I spoke with our contact in Singapore. I have to blow that one. No, he's in China, Shanghai, I believe. Yeah. Ah, oh, well, no one's not gonna know where he is. I just made up that name. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very specific name, though. <laughs> yeah, you don't you don't meet many people with that name. No. Uh, probably in Russia. But possibly. Yeah. But we just said okay. Anyways, moving on. Look, you got, there's there's a guy in Russia who helps people with TikTok. Google yeah. it. He's great. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely guy. Really is top bloke, yeah. but yeah, no, I I don't know if I've come across many accounts like that that appear to be bot accounts. But like like every other platform, they're going to be there. It's yeah, just sure. whether you run into them or not, and mm. how many others or real followers, I guess, you have as well. Whether you notice them or not, yeah, is ultimately what it comes down to. Mm. Yeah, for sure, for sure, hundred mm. uh, percent. So yeah, so I mean, I think I was going to say, have any hardest hit you up? Apparently, some have. Yeah, they have. What what's what is your process to decide on whether or not you're going to use them? Um, is it sometimes just the bag? Is it sometimes well, it's actually cool. It for me, it comes down to more content and whether my I think my content is the right fit or whether I could come up with something which uh, matches the artist's sound. Yeah. Um, and I think that's the almost most important thing to remember when you're hitting someone up or when you're trying to do something um, promotional based is to make sure that the person you're advertising, um, their content or whatever it is that you're advertising matches your brand yeah, and your sure. content. Because it's really hard for me to go and advertise someone who's uh, created a rap song when I don't usually use those sounds or when I don't usually create that sort of content. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of hard to gauge that. I can't really give an all out, I won't do anything with this yeah. person or I won't do anything with this genre. Um, it really comes down to a case by case basis mm -hmm. in terms of what the song sounds like. Um, and so I've turned away probably 80% of those who've come to me yeah. um, with a song promotion purely because I don't think I can help them with the song. Uh, and I tell them that. I'm like, I think it's a great song or I think it's an average track depending on what it's like. Um, it's just that I don't think my content is the right fit for you. Yeah, for sure. Um, and hopefully they appreciate that. But Well, I mean, you, yeah, you, you think so. You know, somebody's not just taking your money and doing something just because, you know what I mean? Like they... Like in your in your case, it's like, well, I clearly want it to make sense. Yeah. So why would I? Yeah, I could just take your money and do it and have like a subpar piece of content. But mm. I guess that also hurts your brand as well. You know what I mean? Exactly. And I think in this day and age, advertising on any um, social media platform, the people who are viewing that content um, can quite easily tell what's an advertisement and what's or what's paid content. Um, and what's true to your brand. So yeah. the closer you can stay to your brand as a creator, um, the more success you're going to have with the um, returns and results from advertising. I like yeah. that. Yeah, and the um, like, do, do many of them actually offer you money up front or is it more just like they test the waters with free? Uh, no, a lot of them, most people who come to me uh, are saying like, what's, what's your price range and <laughs> what, what's it going to cost for us? Um, I'm jealous. As is nice. Yeah, it, it's good when they do that. Uh, and those who don't, it's, I think they understand that they're going to have to. Yeah. Um, especially <clears> with <throat> creators who've got that check mark, which some for some reason gives extra validation to oh, your ability tick, to create. Oh, so does TikTok have that as well? Yeah, yeah. they got a blue TikTok. Mm. But um, I think, so for creators who've got that, um, yeah. I think it definitely helps in... Um, sifting out those who aren't quite serious about promoting a song. Yeah, for sure. um, and you see lots of people left, right and center just using new sounds anyway. Yeah. So odds are if they've created a track that's been released recently that has any sort of 
uh, pull, they're mm-hmm. more than likely to be promoted in some way anyway. Yeah. It's just how can they scale it quicker? Do they have like a, a theme? You know, like I know I know Soiree. Soiree had a, um, what one of his songs he had a... Well, the Gatsby thing? Yeah, it was something to do with a, like a chance of a dance thing. Mm. Um, his was cool. It was just a little bit too complicated and yeah, it wasn't right. his fault. It was... Um, like the actual choreography? Yeah, or? like he got he had an actual dancer do okay. the um, choreography, which can sometimes be a detriment because yeah. dancers like complicated and they're skilled. Yeah. If you want something to catch on, like... It's got to be bedroom style content. Yeah. <coughs> bedroom Bruh, style content simple almost. Simple shit. Yeah. Look at Drake. Like one foot left, left foot slide or whatever it is. Like real simple. I think simp- that's exactly what it is. Yeah, something like that. But yeah. it's it's step by step. Same as... Uh, don't act like you don't know the song. <laughs> I actually... I don't know, maybe... It's on repeat every yeah. night. Yeah, every yeah, night. Yeah. He's just in his bedroom. Is it, what is it? The left <laughs> foot slide. Right, right foot left, left foot slide. slide. Okay. Do I put my hand out? Bro. Right. Actually, side note, have you seen the the mum that does the moonwalk after one of them? Nah, man. Bro, man, she has I, I don't. I don't use TikTok. What, it was all on social media, but anyway. Why I not? Don't. Why not? I don't, honestly, I don't, I have one. It's there sitting there. I think I've, I've been got trying like to get him to do a TikTok with me for Three like, followers. Oh, bro. I like, artists come in and we'll be working on stuff and they're like, oh, I'm just going to do a quick TikTok. Be in it. And I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to see me do. Um, Who are you kidding? I'm a savage. Ratchet. Classy. Na- yeah. Ratchet. Yeah. It's like nobody wants to see me do <laughs> that. I could like, literally see you just. Savage. Look, I could. It. Savage. Let's be fair. I could probably body it. But yeah. point is, right, I was like. TikTok after tonight. No, nah, we are not. It's TikTok time, everybody. <gasps> Never. Anyway, so. um, Yeah, like it has to be simple because. um, Even. She, Old Town Road. Literally, like, one of the challenges, like, that had a lot of challenges around that song, but one of them was quite literally, it's, like, them standing. They jump up, and then they come back down, and they're in cowboy outfit. Yeah. That was that was the challenge. Um, which battery do I need for that camera? Oh, hey, babe. <laughs> oh, my God. T, this is why we got Scott on board. Is that right? No, that's good, babe. That's okay. You're probably only about two minutes behind, What'd so you fuck it's all up? good. It would have just stopped recording. It's oh, fine. Oh, baby. That's okay. Oh, well, then go wider. Go wider, babe. Uh, I can fix that. Should I just jump up and do it? Nah, it's all right, man. We'll just figure it out. Maybe. I mean, look, okay. We just. We just sorry, guys. You just have to listen to the most unrelated thing. I feel like we could just cut it out. Yeah, probably, but or we couldn't. Anyway, so this Editing. is awkward. So back to the thing. So back to the thing. Make sure the trend, what we've said, is make sure the trend that is, it is simple to hook into. Very simple, straightforward. Um, well, just find challenge. something that matches c- the content or mm. the song that yeah. actually works. Uh, the thing about this sort of mass marketing is someone's got to be able to do it. Yeah. No matter what age they are, yeah. no matter what their background, no matter whether they're good at dancing or not. So that's why a lot of the big trends kick off is because everyone can do it. Um, it's not so much about the choreography and making it look great yeah. as much as everyone getting involved yeah exactly hmm. well that's the thing like because i remember and be smart so <laughs> sorry about that boys um one thing i love about dylan francis is he's a fucking genius when it comes to marketing and so he had this past the soap challenge with his song because again think about it he had like um lockdowns kicked in yep so no one can actually do TikToks with friends. Mm-hmm. They're all they're all stuck in their own house. What's also relevant? Sanitizing your hands. It's so not. quite literally, his challenge for his song was past the soap challenge. And the shit went viral because again, it's so easy to to replicate. Mm. You know, like this this was it. I'm just gonna turn on the sound so we might have to mute the audio hey is that worst worst haircut ever is that because you got the mustache <laughs> that is a, i think that is a sign for me that i should definitely have a uh maybe get rid of the mustache but yeah like it's it's like it's quite literally just people cleaning their hands and passing a soap to someone else i love it like this isn't the song this is someone ripping off dylan francis one like a horrible i mean it doesn't sound like dylan francis it doesn't that sounds like a song from my childhood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, like, uh, that's some like 
My what's that pony? High, high School Musical. Well, okay, my yeah, look, I'm trying to. High School Musical. It, it's a High School Musical song. Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe it's this one. Is it actually? So <laughs> <Charlie. laughs> it's childhood. My childhood upbringing. Uh, this is 2018. So obviously, Pasta Soap is a very popular thing, and then just Dylan Francis refurbished it. Anyway, that was what he did, and I thought it was quite genius. Okay, hundred yeah. percent. Well, I found like, out there's know, more. To, more <clears throat> he took the market and you know ran with it. He, yeah, and he gave it a very easy to do challenge. Yeah, hundred percent. It's fucking genius. Um, so yeah, so make sure it's a realistically easy thing, not complicated. Yeah. Uh, what is a realistic price? That is something that, you know, people can get ripped off. They can be overcharged. Like what, well, what do you judge? I mean, everyone's got a different price, obviously, because everyone has different, um, quality that they produce. They have different people behind them. Uh, if you're reaching out to someone who's got 10 million followers on the app, as well as a YouTube channel and an Instagram feed that Probably gonna pay a little bit can all, more. yeah. You can definitely end up spending a lot more, uh, and that because they'll have teams behind them to help produce all their content. Yeah. Um, and at the same time, you'll you might spend more, but you'll get the Instagram post and story and the YouTube content to go with it. Yeah, you um, have to be upfront with what you expect too. Yeah, so it depends on what you're looking for. Um, the way I had it put to me recently, uh, which I thought was a very interesting way of looking at it, is comparing. And if you don't have a YouTube channel, this will be a little bit harder to work out, but you can kind of work out what a good rate is, is comparing the YouTube AdSense um, number, basically, or CPM, which is cost per thousand, um, to your TikTok views. And then working out from there what an actual CPM would look like. So, for example, if you have a CPM on YouTube of $10, then that means for every thousand views, you're going to pay $10 as an advertiser um, or the creator will receive that. So yeah. when you transfer that across to TikTok, if you're getting 50,000 50, views, that's $500 for a single video. Um, so that's kind of probably the best way to start to look at pricing. Yeah. Um, it's always difficult too, because when you first get sent uh, opportunities to advertise or promote things, you'll just about do anything. There's people who will accept fifty dollars, hundred dollars, um, for any sort of promotion. So you kind of have to look at what you're getting from it as well, and the production mm. quality that's going behind it. Yeah, and you can. I mean, you look. There's a there's an opportunity there too. If, like, if there's someone who doesn't know their value, great. Like, use that to your advantage. If someone's like, really, they should be charging five hundred, and they're asking a hundred fucking take that like go 100%. with it because you can know if you f if you find five people who should be charging 500 and they don't know their value and they're charging 100 you've now got the equivalent of five two and a half grand worth of marketing for the price of 500 mm. you know like do your research like just doing don't be attached to someone because you want them like that's where the whole influencer marketing thing was so underpriced for a while yeah and massive brands took advantage of that and just yeah. made Bank. Was, um, on that note, like, you know, because obviously like in, in music, like, you know, we can get paid a fee and then for us, there's obviously the royalties and publishing that come after it. Have you ever run into the situation where like you might get less of a fee up front, but then you might get an added return afterwards, depending on how well the video goes? Is that a thing? No. That people do? Uh, I haven't come across it and I haven't heard of anyone else who I know mm. who's come across that. Uh, generally, it's just the flat yeah. upfront fee. Um. Because I mean, I how, think, yeah, because I mean, how would you? It's one of the hard things with TikTok in particular uh, is to justify or clarify or even work out what the exact returns are. Yeah. So obviously you can see a video's reach, yeah. but there's still yeah. a lot of metrics that normal advertising would give. For example, the click-through rate um, or your actual turnover. So if you're trying to sell a t-shirt uh, on Instagram, for example, you'll be able to see, okay, I made one sale from 400 clicks. Mm -hmm. So you can see what that turnover rate is, whereas TikTok is very different in the sense that you can't really link a product, you can't really link a song. Yeah. So you're more going off just views and listens. Yeah, okay. um, and so to come up with any sort of royalties uh, yeah. effectively based on yeah. that um, well, would I mean, be very well, difficult. Well, I mean, yes and no. Because, and this might be a thing that you might not know about because of your situation, because you don't do the music side of things. Mm. So when we put a song up, 
on distribution services like TuneCore and CD, uh, CD Baby, CD and Baby. And things like that. There's obviously the option to promote on TikTok as well and yeah. have your song on TikTok. You yeah. pay a little bit extra for it or whatever. But then when you get your report, TikTok comes under it as well. Yeah. yeah so same as um, in Facebook ads, I learned recently from a, the mastermind group that uh, that audience thing as well, I can't remember what it is, but TikTok's now becoming linked with Facebook so you can market through yeah. Facebook ads through TikTok yeah, and they're so developing that on, yeah. ongoing. And so I think um, – like, you know, like obviously it's, you know, whether it's worth it or not to you and depending on, you know, how, like how much the return is on TikTok for music and things like that. I have no idea. I, I haven't done any calculations. I haven't looked at it because mm. um, I don't I do not do releases. That's the artist's side, you know, of, things, side yeah. of things. I don't really take any part in that. But it's a thing where you could negotiate, you know what I mean? If they want to pay a certain price, you'd be like, yeah, that's cool. Um, and I guess it comes down to almost the opposite end of you, you know what I mean? It's like, how big are they? How big do you reckon the song's going to be? And, you know, all those factors that come into it. And you could be like, yeah, you know, I'll drop my fee, but then I want this much percentage of uh, the TikTok royalties that you get. Or, you know, yeah. like I want, you know. And like, yeah, I sort of just answered my own question. But um, yeah, yeah. I well, think it's... Is I guess it just that, easier that for you to work. just take a fee? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. It's easier for me to take a fee and cover all my costs mm -hmm. straight up. But the other thing is, obviously, TikTok sounds can come from, or the views on that TikTok <clears throat> can come from anywhere. So True. if someone else creates another video with the sound, mm -hmm. then you're still seeing those figures come through in the Spotify or those feedback yeah. loops that you're talking about. And that's where about. the trickle down effect happens. Um, like, think yes. of the Chipotle flip the lid challenge. Like, they paid five or five or ten influencers decent money mm. but then everyone on tiktok started copying those influencers and now you're getting free marketing so you've paid up front i don't know say 50 grand to these five influencers who have then each had maybe a thousand people copy that so you've just had now you know that you've had 1005 videos for the price of 50 grand yeah it's 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 that's that's the other part that can but that's that's where i'm saying it it too. Could, like it could be good for you depending on you know how crazy the song goes yeah because if you just take from all of tiktok like all their tiktok royalties if you get take a percentage from all their tiktok royalties mm. that's gonna that could end up being you know like a decent amount of money yeah. what, do you, what do you mean by tiktok royalties so obviously within the um like in the distribution services, so like TuneCore or whatever, yeah. when you get your report of where the money's come from, because it tells you like- Do they pay Spotify, you for TikTok? You, that's what I was just saying. Like yeah. you, can get yeah. to, you can get TikTok Just now. fairly recently. It's fairly recent, but yeah, you can do that Fuck now. Me, okay. So what I'm saying is like, yeah, sure. It might not be exactly your video, but if you started that chain, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, and that could be kind of cool. You know, it's, 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 it, it, you know, it works on both ends. If they don't realize what they're saying yes to, then that's their fault. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's definitely not something that I've thought about before mm. from that sense yeah. uh, because I tend to just think more in the standardized. Let me, let me get I, my things paid for. Yeah, yeah if I give sure. you a swipe up or if I've got a direct link, then yeah. I can see what those returns are like. Yeah. Probably there's um, le less headache for you too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, def it's definitely something that now that you've mentioned, I will be yeah. looking into. Yeah, hundred percent. Well, well that's, the super, like, that's the thing is super. That thing is super important as well. Like, so one thing, if you're if you're wanting to get your song out um, and do it, bro, make sure that your song is available on TikTok. Do not mm. like you can do it now with anything. Like, I use DistroKid. DistroKid uploads your songs. I think it's like the first sixty seconds, and then you can split it up on TikTok. But if you haven't got the actual sound linked and it has your artist name and the name of the song attached yeah. to that video, you are losing so many potential um, just, free just free advertising of your song. Mm. Um, so do not, I would say do not pay a single TikTok per, um, creator to do a paid post unless you have your song ready for them to use. Because otherwise it's just going to have original sound dash that TikTok um, creator, 100%. which does no marketing for you in terms of what you're spending. It's a waste of your money. Yeah, 100%. That's the very first one I did was like that. Yeah. Uh, and I had to go in and manually change the name of the sound to Oof. be the artist. Yeah. And you um, just have to hope that the TikTok creator is going to do that. Yeah. Like I said, I would, because yeah. that's the sort of person I try and be. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, you 
can't expect the consumer to look at that and go, oh, that's the artist. I'll actually click that through. It's mm-hmm. so much easier to do it if the sound's already linked properly 100%. and in the system. Yeah. 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 So that's, that's mm. cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, yeah, in terms of TikTok, I mean, like, it, it's been around for what? Oh, quite a while now. Yeah, TikTok in its in, current in, in form, in about two years. In its current form, yeah. yeah. Um, I have noticed just with the, like, with my videos, the ones that I rarely post now, definitely the, the, the algorithm, like anything, has changed. Like, you know, I used to post one thing and I'd get fucking 60K views easy. Um, you know, but, and now it's like, because it's become more popular, they got the, the, the actual app needs to make sure that people keep engaged. So that, and there's also more density and quantity of people putting up content. I think that's more the point. It's not so much it's the like, algorithms change, but the consumer base and the creators have changed. So well, there's the, a lot more the, people. The using algorithms it change to keep people on as well. Like, you know, and like, that's the, that's the big thing that. The, as you said, the content is really upping its quality. You mentioned that earlier. Um, sometimes cringe shit still gets pushed. Yeah, but it's it's um yeah. You like see we, it a we, lot we, less. Yeah, yeah. You see a lot less cringe stuff now. Like some of it's freaking high end. Like who's the guy from King of Queens? Uh, David. Oh, anyway, that guy. Yeah. His shit, oh my god! Like it, some of it is like quite literally cinematic quality stuff. I've seen some of that, yeah, and yeah. that's now on TikTok. Whereas before, it could be like some low bit rate, fuzzy shit of someone just going like, or doing like some reaction video where they're just going, and they'll get like a million views. That do, that shit doesn't fly anymore now. Um, so what are you doing? Like cause your your stuff's pretty sharp. What are you doing to make it? engaging um and how how can an artist look out for that with who they're picking see it's always a tough time um i find whenever i'm posting i'm posting things that i enjoy to both create and watch um and so i tend to stay away from most of the trends um and that sort of thing as an artist looking to advertise or looking to get in on it you kind of just need to if especially to advertise look at the creators who you're going to work with and see what sort of content they're creating if they're just doing the same thing over and over and over chances are their fans are just or followers and viewers are just going to expect to see the same thing over and over and over yeah. so your return will probably not be quite the same as what they do yeah. normally uh, whereas if you're looking to create something with someone who's got original content every video or every second video, um, then you're more likely to have a greater success rate um, in promoting your music that way. Because purely because the viewers will be expecting different things every time and they'll listen and yeah, it's something sure. newly, new creatively. Yeah, and that's the reason they follow that person. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Because mm. one thing with TikTok, I'm, like, I'm trying to find out what TikTok pays. Because, I mean, the biggest... The biggest problem with Spotify is they're making bank without really paying an artist. And like, of course, I mean, you, you look at uh, Old Town Road. He got paid nothing from TikTok, but it was the byproduct of whatever. Hmm. I'm trying to find out what... You'd, what t- You'd have to go into the back office. Like, yeah, you'd have to go into the back yeah. office because... Cause it'd be, or it'd actually be, get into someone's feed. Yeah, yeah it'd be like Spotify where... Um, depending on your distribution service, it could it could roughly change. And then obviously, maybe not so much with TikTok, but with Spotify, like obviously you get paid differently through different regions. So yeah. if somebody listens to your music in America or then listens to your music here in Australia, you, you'll you get two different pay rates for that. Yeah. And that's what makes no sense. But like... Uh, well, it's because that, that's they, they monopolize the game. That is the... Well, they, that's, the, that's the tricky thing with uh, this industry as a whole now. It's like, you know... TikTok for ages was using artists' music for fucking for nothing. Yeah, you know, and it unfortunately, like with everything with the internet, how it goes, it's like a lot of them are kind of just running with it, making fucking bank, and then dealing with the le- le- the legalities later. Yeah, because it's again that thing of all right, do we make a hundred million and then get sued for twenty? Yeah, or do we try and pay up front and then stunt our growth? So I'm just trying to find out here what they pay, but I mean, all it is is it's too fucking complicated. 
I don't think you'll ever find any exact accounting no, metrics like that. Even but Spotify doesn't do that, you know. Yeah. Exactly. And that, so like, and they go. I don't want you to know that. Well, you no. were saying to me the other day about how they were bragging that they paid seventy percent of what they owed. Yeah. Like Spotify was like, oh, you know, we're going strong. You know, we're we're high. We pay really high. We've paid seventy percent of the artists. And it's like. You're bragging about not paying 30% yeah. while you're taking all the money. And then trying to also pass legislation where uh, songwriters aren't entitled to royalties. Yeah. Go yeah. into that. Sorry, Scott. Like, this, is a, a, no, this is a big... Not, that, I mean, so there's you, not much to go into. That I find that's, interesting yeah, too. It's like, fucked. They tried to pass legislation where they didn't... Like, they, they were saying that songwriters weren't... Um, what's the word? Uh, they weren't really needed or... Well, no, that they shouldn't get... Rig- compensated for yeah, that that's work. fucked up man yeah <laughs> that is so wrong like so oh you had a part to do with this cool but you don't get paid like could you ima- again imagine mcdonald's and this- all right the guy who made the burger mm. you know yeah. eh, we don't you know yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. e- even take free. it further back the farmer yeah that's <laughs> yeah. exactly that's like yeah. not oh, paying like, anyone because like, it's yeah. it's be not fair, just not paying the, the artist industry. it's not paying the producer it's not paying yeah, 100%. Yeah, man. their it's marketing like, you know, team like, it's 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 more like you know like you get you get paid the fee up front from the artist but then you shouldn't get anything else on the back end and yeah. it's like well that's dependent on the fucking contract no exactly the, the, yeah. whereas spotify shouldn't have anything to do with that yeah, well, but Spotify's i also made bank and this is where it's getting fucking wrong too like do you know how many people I go, um, what is it, like, with music? They're like, oh, man, no, I pay for your music. I pay Spotify. I'm like, oh, so you think that the fucking eleven ninety nine a month you, you pay yeah. changed me? Like, yes, it, my responsibility to sell more songs and whatever. Mm-hmm. But even within that, what people don't realize is the layers of which we've gone into. Like, there is layers in terms of, yeah. obviously, Spotify is fucking terrified of the major labels, YouTube had the same thing. They were paying labels so that labels didn't take their music off. Mm. But then the problem with that is it gets, it gets really convoluted where it's like, all right, I pay my, I pay the label uh, 10 mil for a catalog of songs. Mm -hmm. But then it's the labels discretion of who they pay out of that chunk. Mm -hmm. And someone like Drake has a bigger cut, even though one month he might be down. They get priority. Yeah. So they get priority, even though like, so for example, and this is where like click through, uh, CPM with YouTube is, is is same line where you've got Drake who, yeah, amazing dude. He gets paid for one play, let's just arbitrary numbers, three cents. Mm-hmm. And then you've got someone who's unsigned wish, getting paid. Oh, no. Then you've got an artist who's unsigned getting paid half a cent for one play. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just, it's a fucked up situation across the whole it is, industry. It is. And like, we, we I mean, I, I roughly touched on it off off camera, but like, it was like, you know, um, I was talking about how there needs to be some sort of union for, yes. for just for producers and things. Um, but um, me and one of my Did mates you see it paid what you uh, were talking about it, and you know it, it's it's barely for this sort of scenario, but more for the fact is like we all start to undercut each other. You know what I mean? Yeah. You go to you go to one promoter and they'll give you this price, and you go to somebody else and they'll be like, no, nah, no, nah, I'll do it for a little bit cheaper. Yeah, my rate is definitely different to anyone else who's on my yeah. level. Yeah. Like the apart from the fact that we don't speak amongst each other about yeah. it, everyone's always just trying to get more yeah. and more work. And mm. it's understandable that, you know, you want to get the work. That's totally fine. It comes to a point though, where you're not being able to even pay for your own time, yeah, for your own equipment. You know, you can't even like, it doesn't cover anything. Yeah. And that's, be- you know, like it's, it's like, it's like any industry, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, like you, you obviously have to put a certain amount of money on top of the actual product cost to make money. You know yeah. I mean? You know, you got your investment, you need to make back your investment. Yeah. Where it's like for us, it's like, yeah, there's no, I mean, there's initial investment of equipment and things like that. And people just constantly push that aside. Yeah. Which is crazy. And that's the thing as well. Like even with the, like paying an, uh, a, a TikTok creator, what are they going to spend on... Um, what do you call it? What are you sending me, babe? Is Facebook sending me an uh, attachment available? Chunky's disappointed because he can't see it. I'm really upset. What yeah. Was- oh, I'm disappointed. The, um, yeah, some artists, there's so, like, you know, with your stuff, it might require you to actually buy some shit. So if you're paying $600 for someone and then there's paying $100 to make your shit mad, yeah. 
there's those costs that go into it too. So it's what I do for most of my things. Like yeah. I had a brand deal for a fairly major company that was coming through prior to the unspeakable occurring. Mm -hmm. uh, that what is it? A five letter word starting with C, ending with Ovid. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I had a big deal that was going to happen with them and I shot everything. Uh, it was videos, it was Instagram, uh, both stories All and content. posts. Yeah. Yep. Multiple content across different things. I had to outlay the cost to rent the space to use and then I had to pay the other people who were in the shoot. Mm -hmm. uh, and all this was just assuming I'd be paid at the end. Um, and obviously that one fell through, which is always a little bit of a hit, but that's all yeah. right. Did you um, get the money first from that? No. No. No, ah. no, no. Well, I mean, that's a lesson. When I guess. Yeah, exactly. But Take when you hear a fairly big brand come through, uh, yeah. who I've worked with before in a different sense, um, okay. but not in this um, influential, influential, uh, influential space, uh, influencer space. I haven't worked with them before, but it's um, it's definitely something that hurts. And so you try and minimize those costs wherever possible. But yeah. I'm always going to be outlaying costs for videos, so my costs will always be different to those who just shoot in their bedroom um, and do something a little yeah. bit simpler. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Because that's always like, I think that's the thing that people don't know. It doesn't matter how big or small a company is. They're all like, circumstances always mean that they can get in the way of them paying you. You know, like I know my dad in the business he's in, like because of COVID now, He's chasing up multiple people for hundreds of thousands of dollars of promised things. And now they're hiding behind the COVID banner of excuse. Like yeah. every fucking business now is, oh, like we can't deliver because of COVID. It's like bullshit. Mm. You know, you can like, like yeah. delivery times are taking long, paying times are obviously mm. like now all oh, we can't. Bullshit. You can, dude. Yeah. Well, and that's, that's there's a, there's a, it's just, it's unfortunate it's happened to you. But maybe that's a great lesson for all of us is don't don't always just trust people. Yeah, hundred percent. Well, <laughs> Even if get that contract signed and get <laughs> yeah. a deposit. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. And don't so like use that deposit for what you've got. Not anymore. Like that twenty percent rule. Like yeah. maybe don't go over that twenty percent until you've got yeah. the whole amount. It's like um, it's, I mean in in this like c word era, um, all these businesses that have like like if we're going to relate it back to music, like all these businesses that have gone into liquidation or have shut the doors and stuff and you've, you're the sort of business that books live music. Yeah. And there's booking agencies trying to chase all of this money that they're not paying. Yeah. That's you know actually I mean? a real thing with the um, live industry right now. It's huge. Like yeah. the amount of money and because there's no real guidelines and rules. There's in no place. clause in a contract no clause, for a yeah. you know I mean? worldwide pandemic shutting exactly. everything yeah, exactly. down. But well, I mean, well, even, even, even just in well, general, now they will like, be, but on, on, on average, I've got friends that wait at least m like bare minimum two weeks to get paid for a live gig. Yeah. Which is bullshit. Which is absolutely well, insanity. Industry yeah. standard is 90 days for any sort of corporate commercial work. Yeah. So unless you have it specifically stated in your contract mm. or in the initial period, yeah. uh, I tend to go for two weeks, which is fairly yeah. clear. That gives an, big businesses yeah. enough time to pay. But unless you have it stated mm. like clearly in writing, yeah. um, it's so hard to get any form of- 100%. 100%. Well, that, and that's, a, I think that's a thing that's so, like this industry as a whole, people need to start Again, don't fucking sell your soul unless there's actually a decent outcome from it. Like mm. working, working, and then unfortunately putting the the trust that that per, that venue is going to pay you two weeks later. And mm. I, look, it's on the venue too because they can tarnish their name by not paying on time. But and you know this thing, like something unexpected came out of nowhere. Yeah, you've already done the work to this this. Yeah. venue where it's a pub a restaurant whatever oh, they're still withholding that money. and then shits hit the fan they're yeah. like oh you know i'm sorry we can't pay you fuck off i gave you a job i did my thing like yeah. you know you know you don't even get me started because i mean this hits a nerve with me because of stacy and her one of her jobs yeah they just all of a sudden decided not to pay her for a month and a half of work Jesus. and then they then she's being the absolute bitch because she's like pay me my fucking money it's yeah. not my fault that you guys are bad at your cash flow yeah you know, yeah. but yeah, artists need to just, I don't know. There needs to be some sort of, well, I mean, it's artists, but it's also, you know, thing. like, then, like I said, there needs to be some sort of union. You know what I mean? Like clear guidelines, clear stipulations. Like you, if 
for 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 pubs and things like yeah, you got a bartender, you pay them every week or every two weeks. Yeah, maybe. yeah. You know what I mean? You don't like exposure not, doesn't feed me. You don't not pay them three months. You know what I mean? Like, you know, it's like people yeah. people in there those equal people in those corporate industries like the. Just the, the random, the normal people that work Fortnightly for that company. or monthly pay, yeah. You know, sometimes weekly, whatever. But that's but the thing with like big labels. Big labels don't do that, typically. Mm. You know, like with with festivals and stuff like that, they don't say, all right, we're, we're going to do that festival. Like our, our artist is not going to do that festival until you have that at least a chunk of that check in yeah. the mail. Always a deposit. So why is it that's labels so are different. doing that, but then all these people, all these early artists yeah. don't. You know, because again, like it's just unnecessary headache. Because then all of a sudden you're chasing, you're there to fucking perform music. Yeah. You're there to do what you love, bring happiness to people, yeah. tell a story, whatever it is. And then you're spending time that you could be in the studio or time you can be rehearsing, chasing, chasing up a fuckwit who won't pay you. Yeah. It's just bullshit and it needs to change. No, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. It's very aggressive. I get, I get passionate. Yeah. But yeah, no, like. Anyway, back to TikTok. Um, I am just intrigued. Like, what, what is the – say someone's looking at a, at a – <clears throat> you said like a CPM, uh, CPM yeah, model. Yeah, assume CPM. Just that's just what they need one. to be looking at. It's like, all right, because, you know, we've spoken about a lot. Like, <clears throat> um, some, some creators have a million followers and they can't even crack 10K views. Where most people look is the followers, unfortunately. Yeah. And they go, oh, he's got a million followers. It's like, cool, but 10,000 people might see their shit. Versus someone like yourself who only has 150,000, but then you get 60, 70,000 views. What what would you say is a more important thing to for an artist to look at, to evaluate it, whether or not they should be even thinking about paying you? I, I think it's, um, it's important to look at both <laughs> because ultimately you want to sit somewhere in that middle ground where you have people who have the follow account, so... <laughs> Um, the general public look at them and go, oh, they're an authority in this yep. space. I'll follow what they're suggesting um, or I'll listen to the music that they listen to because I want to be like them. Uh, but at the same time, you also want to make sure that they've got the views to properly support yeah. you and what you're trying to advertise. So finding that middle ground, I think, is very important mm -hmm. in the space. Um, and to do that, even to try and find the middle ground with views is difficult. Like you can look at someone's feed and the last six videos, just a quick glance, will all have over a million views. But then you scroll back and suddenly realize, oh, they've just had a really viral series that's just hit off. Um, but in actual fact, prior to that, they were only getting these sorts of numbers. Yeah. Um, and that's probably one scenario where I'd say you need to wait a little bit longer to reach out to that creator just to see where they level off after that. They might explode and keep growing, which is yeah. great. Unfortunately, then you may have to pay a larger fee, but you know that the return yeah. will be greater. Yeah, exactly. um, and so, yeah, looking looking at the actual metrics and analytics of things that have gone through uh, and videos that have been posted already, I would say is more important than just going for a really high follow account. Yeah. It's actually interesting because when you were saying that, I thought of something else. Like we touch on a lot, like yeah. artists need to know who, who, who they're talking to. Um, you know, like because – if they know their market, they can ask you who your market is. Like, so for example, our friend Nat Elise, like she is typically younger female um, audience. If I'm a hip hop artist. Might not work. Probably not best to reach out to her. No. Yeah. And like, luckily she's, she's aware of that. Like she, she knows her market and she's pretty on it, but there's other people who don't. And if you're reaching out to someone going, man, they got a million followers. Um, you, great like their followers are all 12 year old girls and you're dropping um some fucking song about you know smacking a bitch up like mm. probably not going to be the best audience for your your market yeah you know so whereas you'd be better suited to someone who is i don't know a bit more on the edge and whatever and has mostly a male market who's only got a hundred thousand followers you yeah. know, like, I mean, yeah. And I'm maybe they're creating hip hop dance type yeah, music or yeah. maybe they've got some form of car content which is revolving yeah. around music or something along those lines. Just exactly. find something that's similar to your brand and your yeah. music and style as yeah. well. And that's really where you'll see the most success anyway because you'll see most people viewing their content and going, oh yeah, I relate to that. I'm going to switch and listen to their music. Yeah. 
and that's really where the conversion comes then. Yeah. Um, and yeah, the closer you can get your demographic and audience to their demographic and audience, yeah. um, the the better return you have. Facts. Hundred mm. percent. Yeah. Sick. Um, shit. I don't know. That's kind of everything. Yeah, I think that's cool. Is there any random stories? You know, a story. Random stories. What sort of random stories? I don't know. A shit. random story. I mean, I don't know. There once was a time. <laughs> <laughs> that's, um, yeah, like I guess what's like, I mean, yeah, like obviously you've had a people that you've knocked back for their songs for various reasons. Yeah. This guy. Yeah, hundred percent. Because it was trash. Every time. <laughs> Listen to it. And um, just I guess I heard that. What 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 is your sort of content? Like what what would revolve around you? See, uh, that it's a tough one for me to integrate songs and music. Uh, it really has to be done quite specifically almost. Yeah. So most of my content is sort of comedy style yeah. sketches or related to comedy in some form of way. Um, and so to introduce music into that, I often find is very difficult. Yeah, for sure. um, it's got to be almost lyrically related to yeah. some form of joke. Um, and that's what I've had most success with mm-hmm. is creating something that uses the lyrics in a song to relate to a specific scenario, which mm-hmm. can be turned into a comedic yeah, scenario. Okay. Cool. Um, And other than that, I'll tend to say no to people purely because I don't think that I can help them. Yeah, for sure. As much as I would love to take a paycheck, I don't feel right doing that. I don't think I can give you what you want. Yeah, definitely. Um, Same with me. (laughs) Just, yeah, you like, you have to, at at, at some point at the end of the day, you have to like, you know, be true to yourself and, you know, make sure your brand stays cohesive and. Well, yeah, and also, you, I'll be called it. out if yeah, people so, come yeah. and say, this isn't your normal style. Yeah, exactly. You don't dance. <laughs> well, <laughs> like, yeah. oh, well, that's you're the right. He who sells everything sells nothing. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Mm. But, uh, oh, that's cool. Yeah, why? Well, because we asked you so many questions. I was like, I don't actually know what like sort of content he does. So I <laughs> should probably ask that. Ooh, you don't, <laughs> well, you I don't found view. out the other you day. You should I've, view. Just even scroll. I don't yeah. know whether it's good for your creative mind, but I find it's really good to just scroll and go, not just what's like trending and what's happening, yeah, yeah. but it's a good source of like creative mind numbing entertainment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Fair enough. Fair enough. Like, random ideas can come from everywhere. Mm. And I feel like with TikTok being such a musically based or backed platform, yeah. um, to learn new things or to go, oh, maybe that works with that. It could be such a great way to do that. And to connect two random things. Hey, that TikTok you showed me yesterday of you, uh, the TikTok Australia has. Can you can you airdrop that to me? I want to put it on. So I found out yesterday, last night. So uh, Scott has a like. He, there was a tic- TikTok Australia did a thing for um, some sort of campaign to stop people overusing yeah. TikTok. Well, and once you start scrolling a certain amount of time, like an hour or two this pops up going, maybe it's time to put your phone down. Really? And yeah. so his one's well, actually really people, fucking cool. People were kicking up a stink because their kids and everyone was just spending four or five hours at night scrolling. I don't TikTok. know how you <laughs> could do that. What do you mean you don't know how? Everyone does it once. At no, least bro, I cracked I, pr- I cracked 20 minutes once yeah. and I'm just like, all right, I need to stop. You just lose track of time. Like 15 seconds doesn't seem like a lot, mm. but- when you're swiping past things, oh, man. My thumb um, it doubles up. up. Like ev- you can lose hours and hours without even trying on the app. Excuse me. Fuck. Um, That's crazy. Yeah, it's insane. Four so, hours. so there was this big movement where people were like, this is ridiculous. I'm just spending hours. It's 2 a.m. I need to get up and go to school. And TikTok, I think, had to do something about yeah, it, at sure. least publicly. Yeah. At least pretend, so, like, yeah, at least pretend <laughs> like they gave it. Like, like, oh, yeah, I mean, we're gonna, we, we actually care about people's mental health yeah. and we don't want them to stay on our products, so we keep, uh, they keep buying shit. Ultimately, they're a business, aren't Please they? Don't. Yeah. Please, um, it was a public relations yeah. thing. I'm just going to send it to your phone. Please stop. You'll have to do it from there. Maybe right. don't stop, but please stop. Yeah, don't stop, but... S- stop, stop, but... Stop, stop maybe. Stop. stop. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so oh, they, man, it started in the UK yeah. um, and they had a couple of their creators create some. Uh, and then our manager uh, reached out and said, look, we want to create some for Australia. And so there was about six of us who were attempted to do it. Yeah, um, yeah. And I think three of us posted or ended up creating them uh, for various ones. I think mine's the only evening one. Yeah. And then there were two other daytime ones uh, or designed to be like yeah, shown yeah. at daytime. Um <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it just took off. And I've had Four people. Hours, bro. Four I've had, hours. I, I mean, it comes up after about Christ, an hour. Okay. But I've had it's people bad. just from every walk of my life yeah. message me 
after months, years of yeah. never talking or yeah, yeah never speaking, uh, say <laughs> it starts the message usually, ha ha ha. Guess who I just saw? And like, I know what this is. I know what you've been doing. Are your eyes tired? All right, hold on. I've got to move this over here. Oh this is so everyone can see. Okay. Stace, can the camera see the computer? Can you can you make it? We just add it in post. We just add it in post. <laughs> add it in post. <laughs> so hold on. I'm gonna make sure we we turn this this jazz up. Oh, I've just right. unplugged my headphones so I didn't have to hear my own voice like I do every <laughs> night at 4 a.m. Anyway. Well, how about you put the phone away? Try some of these things before going to bed. Look at that shot. Oh. Look at that shot. Oh. Do you know how long that took? Oh, bro. I reckon <laughs> On this one. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Fabulous. Dude, surely you just that look... took me about Hold five up. hours of shooting. A light switch. Uh, a little plush toy. That's the Do you know how hard it was to flick a light switch off with a plush toy? Bro, post that shit. Just darken it down. Like, fuck. I, way too much effort. I would I would have just post po like post production that shit and just been like throw it was close fade to black. But where's the fun in that? <laughs> yeah, uh, where's the enjoyment? Is How is that any different from someone who spends four hours on TikTok? Because I know, <laughs> <laughs> I know that that was put to good use that time. I had the See, like, dopamine uh, hit of I made it. It right. was a successful day. If I saw that. I'd have to go onto like YouTube. I'd have to switch platform or stay on TikTok and search trick shots. Yeah. Like the coat hanger trick shot was a hundred percent the hardest one. Like really? if, if I want anyone to replicate any of it, I would say that one because the coat hangers and you could do it a lot easier. The coat hangers I used were plastic. Uh, so the shirt and pants held nice. most of the weight. And when you're throwing a shirt, trying to throw it horizontal <laughs> to hook on a hook, Oh my lord! Over that distance, it was about three meters, so not even that far. But oh, the number of takes it took was well, it makes insane. Makes you wonder, like, sh like shows like um, Dude Perfect. Yeah, bro. I mean, like, I know you imagine, get good at it. Yeah, but, but even like, then, but that is that's your like when that's your job. Imagine like the stress going. Fuck! I have tried for the last eight days to make this trick <laughs> make shot, this one trick yeah. shot, and my video has to go out tomorrow. Like, there's one guy on TikTok at the moment who's trying to do some trick shot with golf in yeah. some bottle, and I don't know if he's made it. But it's one of those things. So one thing is really good with TikTok is subscribe to see if I make it. Like that just boosts That's your cool. shit straight away. That's so this cool. guy literally spends just a minute of trying his shots and ah oh, so close and ah oh, so close and. I don't know. I gave up after watching four or five weeks worth of this guy trying the shot. But <laughs> yeah, and you call me bad for an hour and a half at night. I checked in once a week for twenty seconds. Okay, a little bit different. That's addicted. <laughs> yeah. It was short hits of dopamine. You were but, just as much into that return as he was. Bro, I wanted him to get it so bad, and like it, it was, it was a bottle, and like the bottle, like they'd go over it, and the guy even tried to drop it from here, and still went. Dun, 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 and missed it. I'm like, and you're put, you're just chipping this thing hoping mm. for gold. Like, good luck. I, I don't know. Like stuff like that. I'm like, does the payoff really is it worth it? Yes. Or should you just do shit? No, nah, the payoff is worth life. it. Like that 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 video. I was like, oh, that's no, that's cool. But that only took you a few hours. I'm talking about ones that take you a few weeks. Yeah. But yeah. Better. The if that, payoff if that after a few hours, <laughs> you'd be like. Just doing that like brought a whole new level of appreciation. So it's like, and an, it's like an orgasm after four years of celibacy. Yeah, I mean, if you want, sure. To, if you want if to go that far, <laughs> <laughs> we're taking a break. <laughs> I'm a little hot after that one. That's the end. Uh, anyway, but yeah, I think yeah. That's, let's wrap this. Uh, let's wrap this up. But definitely, if you're not on TikTok as a music artist, you definitely should at least have your music there. Yeah, 100%. and be promoting your own stuff. Pump it and. Spend chunky weeks. Love Studios. Yeah, Chunky Love. And if someone else has got it, Chunky no, Love Studios official. I've actually heard, oh, that's rude. No, Ooh. I actually do have a TikTok. I just don't use it. Oh, okay. You should. Yeah. Well, he's going to be on it very soon. Anyway, guys, make sure, subscribe, hit the uh, like button, smash it if you want to, because that really does help the algorithm. Maybe like, well, I mean, if you click on and off, like make sure you, the last one is you, you click like. Yeah. Press, press, over. hit the like button, please, and uh, subscribe so you can find out more cool stuff. Thank you, Scott, for coming. No along. worries. Uh, once you've it. done all those subscribes, don't forget to head over to all my social channels. Yes. And <laughs> yes. I was about it's to say. It. I was about to say. No, you gotta get the self plug in. Gotta get the self plug. It's way better. What are you on socials, Scott? Uh, at Scott Borson. 
on everything. That's, right. that's bad. Well, that's, here you go. Just in case you guys... That's ha- badass. Just you guys aren't sure about the spelling. There you go. Boa S- Scott. Boa Boston. Well, ho- hope- <laughs> Bost- <laughs> Hopefully the title's correct anyway. Bostanos. Bostanos. And go. yeah. All right. We love you guys. See ya. Peace. Bye.